What's good, y'all? Mr. J here, and today is vlog day. Today, what I got on deck, somebody hit me up on IG. Actually, two people hit me up on IG. And uh, they asked me to do a video about the SRT Ghoul. inbox me and you know I'll do my best any kind of recommendations and anything you know I'll throw it on the vlog I'll throw it in a video whatever just reach out so we're gonna talk about the SRT ghoul today and uh, it's, it's kind of late it is very late um, but like I said you know this is a response to you know a request I really wouldn't have done the video because uh, despite what you know trolls out there believe you know uh, some think that I drive around my 300 thinking that it's a charger you know people think that I drive my 300 wishing that it was a charger nope nope I don't mind the charger I mean you can check the very first video of my channel I don't mind chargers but side-by-side -side comparisons you know this 5.7 to an RT I'm picking this 5.7 every single time I'll take a SRT over a 392 every single time I don't care what kind of arguments you throw up in the air I don't care what you say that has better than this I really don't care because at the end of the day the 300 is my preference. <laughs> like the, the, the money that I spent on this, I could have had a charger. It's not that different. They aren't that different. The 300 is more expensive car at the same trim level. If I wanted a charger, I could have had a charger. Would have had a charger. But I didn't. I wanted my second 300. So that's what I got. But despite what the trolls say, <laughs> Sorry, y'all. As you can tell, I've been getting uh, I've been getting some heat lately from the trolls. The trolls have been trolling up. They've been they've been on a war path. They ain't leaving me alone. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we're gonna talk about the SRT Ghoul, um, and uh, you know, from the jump. Let me be very clear and upfront what I think about the SRT Gold. It ain't real, y'all. It is not real. I know that there is all kinds of, you know, infotainment out there on the SRT Gold. But, you know, first things first, if we pull up the article where everybody got this from, check the date on the article. And that's indicator number one. <laughs> that is indicator number one. If all of the other signs on there, you know, aren't prominent. Now, let, let's humor the idea of a thousand horsepower off the lot. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Everybody is in a pursuit for more horsepower. So a thousand horsepower off the lot, sweet. Now, you know, you're taking away a little bit of the onus of building a thousand uh, uh, horsepower car, but you know, to each their own. If you don't wanna buy a pre-bought thousand horsepower car, you won't do it. You'll build it yourself, which people do all the time. You know, people start with a Hellcat. People turn Hellcats into 1,000 horsepower cars all the time. And I'll tell you what, they ain't spending no $200,000 to do it either. Don't get me wrong, they're spending a lot of money. But they're definitely not hitting no $200,000 price point. 
that right there should be indicator number two, y'all. Two hundred thousand dollars for what starts out at what a, 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 a forty-six thousand dollar car? Come on, come on. How, how do you go from forty-six thousand dollars all the way up to two hundred thousand? Really? That sounds realistic to y'all. <laughs> that sounds right. That sounds appropriate. How many trim levels of that car are there to get up to that high? Yes, it's a thousand horsepower, but hey, the Helifant engine is an eight thousand dollar crate engine. So, uh, I don't know how your math works, but to me, going from eighty thousand dollars at the highest trim level to $200,000 for an $8,000 engine. Something ain't adding up there. Nothing doesn't add up there. It's another reason why I don't think that it's real. Um, as well as, you know, another thing, it's, you know, being referred to as heavily, being heavily called the SRT Ghoul. I mean, on April 1st, at that point in time, what did we know about SRT? That it was absorbed into Stellantis. The brand exists, but the team itself doesn't. So to call it an SRT ghoul is almost like saying the SRT Viper or you know the SRT Prowler. It almost puts the onus on it that the SRT team is building that car which we all know they can no longer do now yes would they choose to just call it the SRT cool sure they could they could try to you know keep SRT alive try to diminish the ideal that you know SRT is gone and you know build faith that you know the, the repercussions of the SRT team will not be disappeared into the Stellantis. They could, but then let's take a look at you know the other trim levels. We don't call a Hellcat Charger an SRT Hellcat. We don't call it an SRT Challenger. We don't call it, you know, we call it a Hellcat. We got a Hellcat Charger or a Hellcat Challenger. We don't call it a SRT Trackhawk. So all these trim levels, they don't they don't start with SRT. So that's number two, three, number three. Why would they all of a sudden just start calling it SRT? And then moving on from that, ghoul? Ghoul? Really? Ghoul? Like I get it. I get it. It's Sounds cool, I guess, but but think of it from a marketing standpoint. Take Hellcat, okay? Hellcat doesn't sound like, you know, some schoolyard BS trying to sound cool. You know, Hellcat sounds like a well thought out, marketable name. Hellcat, yeah, absolutely. What do we go, where do we go from Hellcat? demon that's yeah, a little more simplistic but it keeps it within you know the uh, within the hell theme you know hell cat you're, you're talking about the underworld and you know carry the theme of the underworld so and not only that but you're getting more horsepower out of the demon so you know the next name has to be you know something bigger and badder than Hellcat, you know, that's that's how uh, advertising, that's how marketing works. You know, if, if you're going, for, if you're doing an upgrade, you know, the name of that upgrade should reflect that it's an upgrade. You shouldn't really have any doubt that it's an upgrade. So, Demon from Hellcat, absolutely. That makes sense. But then to go from demon to ghoul that doesn't really make that's like a that, that seems like you know 
that seems like a step down. Like, a ghoul sounds like it would be like on the same level as, as Hellcat, really. And, you know, you're gonna expect this to be more than the demon? Doesn't really work from a marketing standpoint. It's, it's, it's kind of a terrible name. Now, I, I get it that it makes sense because it does resonate well with keeping the underworld theme and all that. Whoever, whoever made this hoax, if it is a hoax, I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty certain it is a hoax. Um, you know, whoever made this hoax, you know, took a second to think about it, to realize that you know you had the, the demon demonology in there and continue the demon demonology, but like, you know, it, it it's a non-starter to me. Like, ghoul just sounds terrible. Like I said, it sounds like schoolyard BS. It sounds like a bunch of kids on on the, the schoolyard saying like, yeah, I got a super soaker. Oh yeah? Well, I got a super duper soaker. Yeah? Well, I got a super duper soaker infinite. You can't beat my super soaker infinite. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. It sounds that retarded to me. <laughs> Apologies if you like the, 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 the name Ghoul, but you know, I think you're selling yourself short. And then, you know, Ghoul itself. So, the Hellcat engine is in a Hellcat, right? And this SRT Ghoul is supposed to have the Hellephant engine. So, why would you even go with a different name? Why wouldn't you go Elephant for your elephant engine. You have a Hellcat engine in a Hellcat. You know, like it just doesn't lend itself to supporting that, <laughs> supporting marketing themes. Um, you know, I, I imagine that if they were to make this car, it certainly wouldn't be a ghoul. It certainly wouldn't be an SRT ghoul. It would be a Dodge Charger Elephant SRT. The SRT Dodge Charger Elephant. I mean, tell me I'm wrong. Tell me none of that makes sense. Comment down below. I'd love to hear your reactions. Fight me if I'm wrong. I'm ready for the trolls. <laughs> uh, that's, you know... That's another reason, and then you know, circling back to two hundred thousand dollars, man. That that's just two hundred thousand dollars. What? That's almost putting you in supercar territory. I mean, we love our Mopars, absolutely, but are they supercars? No, they're not. A supercar is in its own category for good reasons because they do things that muscle cars don't do <laughs> you know they just have features in them that aren't available or you know aren't even considered to be put in you know on a muscle car that's why they're super cars so to pay super car price for a charger a car that starts out, you know, well below that price point, seems a little asinine. Seems just a little asinine. Seems a little too asinine to be true. Right? So, but humoring it, you know, if it were to come true, well, if it would be, you know, I'd love to see one. Absolutely, I'd love to see one at Carby's. I would never think about driving one. <laughs> I would never think about owning one. I would have to get it for free um, but you know I would love to see it if it was true um, and then not only that but I would love to see what people could do with them you know afterwards you know you're buying a thousand horsepower off the lot I would love to see what people can achieve you know after they start modding that thing after they start tuning or you know even if it's even if it's possible you know uh, how far, how far can you go? You know, uh, that would be incredible to see. But, sorry to crush everybody's hopes and dreams out there, but 
this is a joke. <laughs> it's a joke, y'all. Uh, definitely don't believe somebody who said they bought an SRT Ghoul. Um, you know, and, and as of yet, until you see something come forth from Dodge or Stellantis, you know, it's a rumor. So wait for it to be, you know, come to, you know, a reputable source before you blow your load. <laughs> All right, everybody, that's going to about wrap it up for this one. My name's Mr. J. Hey, if you're brand new to the channel, if you're new to the channel, I'm Mr. J. This is Gotham Hemi, my 5.7 VA Hemi thing, man. Uh, I do vlogs, I do installs, how-tos, the works. If you love fast cars, if you love modding your car, that all happens here on this channel. So hit that subscribe button if that sounds like a good time to you. And if you've already hit that subscribe button, been rocking with the channel. I appreciate every single one of you. Many, many thanks to you. And uh, I will catch all of you in the next one. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. Mr. J, Gotham Hemi, we out.